Hey, I've got some surfaces over here for you to guess. What, one Ball like blindfold, this? something like that. Oh, oh no, yeah. this is going to be hard. I have to do it by touch. Step right this way, madam. Okay. Now you've got six to guess right. in 30 seconds, okay. starting from now. Uh, Go. Uh, oh, it's coldish, yes. and it's got sort of uh, novels on it. it mm -hmm. It's some sort of um, metal. Yes, metal. right. What about that? Uh, oh, um... It's sort of fluffy, but it's got sort of grainy sort of feel to it. Some sort of woven something. Uh, yes, material. it's a material. Yes. Material. What about that one? Uh, oh, bouncy, sort of rubbery. rubbery yes, rubber. Here. Yes, it is. Yes, Novels. it's carpet underlay. What about this one? Careful now, careful. Uh, it's nails. Uh, it's nearly, nails nearly. Uh, time's up. up. Oh. Time's up. It was uh. cocktail sticks. You see. Oh. Well, you did that one. How did I get right? Oh, about uh, four, I think. Two oh. or four. Here's some children experimenting with some different surfaces. Right, Samantha, what have you managed to discover so far? Well, we've tried it on all, th all the three types of sandpaper and we found out that the rough of the surface, the steeper angle it's got to get at before it starts to slide down. <laughs>
Now, this is the problem. Mm -hmm. Which of these shapes has the largest surface? Ah, the largest area? Yes. Now, this blue one, I think, is larger than the yellow one, isn't it? Mm hmm Yes, it is. Look, same as last week, because the yellow one fits on top with room to spare. That's right. And this red one, if you remember, when we cut it last week, we can fit both pieces inside the blue one with room to spare. Right, so this blue is definitely the largest. Yes, but which comes next? Which of these two is the largest? Um, How about measuring their yeah. area? Yes, OK. Right, try this one. Now, draw around it. wonky there. Come on. And count up the squares. Hmm. Well, that's one way of doing it. Twenty-two. Sixteen. What have you done? Well, I, I've counted <gasps> up the whole squares. Look. See, I counted that one, and that one, and that one. Uh, oh, I had to count that one, I thought, because although it's not quite a whole square, it's very nearly one. Mm -hmm. um, but I didn't count the tiny bits, like up here. Mm -hmm. But I didn't know what to do about pieces like that, do you see? Oh, you mean you didn't count those? No. Well, well that's why you've got an answer that's less than mine. Well, what am I supposed to do about the odd bits and pieces? Well, one way is to count up all the squares that are larger than half a square. Ah, oh, and not count the other bits? That's right. Is that what you did? Yes. OK, then. Uh, that's larger than half a square, then, is it? Yep. Um, what about that? Mm, doubtful, really, isn't no. it? No. And that one? Mm, no. no. That one, yes. yes. No, no, no. no. Yes. yes, definitely. And that that's one? That's larger. That's larger as well, I think. That's no. not. No. No. Nor that one. Mm. Uh, that one? Could be. Just about. Mm. Yes, I think I'll count that one. No. Uh, not those. So no. that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Oh, you've got the same you. thing. So, this shape is approximately 22 squares large. Mm. And all we have to do now is measure this one. OK, I'll do it your way. Right, oh, I'll give you some squares. squares. Mm, well, I got 28. Mm. So that's definitely the biggest mm -hmm. and then that comes next and that seems to have the smallest area. Ah, uh, A. Hey, look, two different shapes, Mary. Mm, that's because we've got to find two different numbers this time. But you can choose one number, oh. the one that goes in the box there. Mm-hmm. Show me. OK, well, let's start and have one in the box. So two times one is two, add three is five. five. So the triangle equals five. I see. And if you have two in the box... Well, let's try it, shall we? Two. Two times two is four. Add three seven. equals seven. Seven ah. in the triangle. Oh, well, that's easy. You think so? Yes. All right, let's have uh, nine. In the triangle. In the triangle? Yep. Oh, right. So, that add three has got to be nine. Yes. So that lot has got to be six, hasn't it? Because six add three is nine, yes? So, two times something is six. So that's got to be three. Yes, that's right. Two, three is a six, add three is nine. So the box is a three. 
Yeah. Tricky, mm -hmm. that. OK, one for you. No. Six in the triangle. What would you have? Six hmm? in the triangle. Mm, that's right. So it's got to come to six. Um, six adds three, so you can take that three away and you're left with three. Uh, two times three is mm -hmm. six. Mm. <laughs> mm. I don't think I can do it. It can't be done with whole numbers. Mm. Here's another part of the story about the mathematician that had problems of a different sort. One and a half. You didn't tell me you could halve it. Well before midday, the king and his household assembled in the throne room. Uh, this is just to remind you all, said the king, that the mathematician's job was to draw a picture of me without using any lines at all. The king was secretly rather proud of this task. It was really quite impossible. There was no way the mathematician could carry it out. All night, he'd been rehearsing the order, off with his head, <laughs> off with his head, for he was getting sadly out of practice, and secretly, he worried whether he was getting a bit soft in his old age. Out of the corner of his eye, the king could see the official executioner. Well, there'll certainly be work for him today, thought the king. Certainly. Precisely at midday, the mathematician arrived and handed his drawing to the princess. It's you! It's you! shouted the princess. The king snatched the drawing. Indeed, it was like him. Very like him. Oh, I suppose we'll have to hear how it was done, said the king. And it had better be good. I started by imagining the surface being made up of hundreds and thousands of dots. Well, points, really, said the mathematician. And then all I had to do was to pick out those points I needed to um, draw your majesty. That was very clever, said the king. I'll make a bargain with you. If you manage next week's challenge, you may keep your head and leave a free man. <laughs>